For obvious reasons, I've always been interested in Native American culture and traditions. Since I like making walking sticks, I decided to make something similar, but a little different. I did my homework, and with a little research and a few downloaded photos, I decided to make a replica of a Sioux warrior spear. Now for some trimming to make my knife point fit the spear. I know it's a knife point, but that's all I had on hand. It will make a good spear point. It's seven inches long. I decided to use red writ dye on the wood just below the point to represent some buffalo blood. The Sioux were great buffalo hunters, as well as warriors. I used two-part epoxy to secure the point and laced with rawhide for authenticity and aesthetic reasons. Here you see I have drawn some signs that I will carve on the stick that are most revered by the Sioux Indian Nation. They are the eagle, the hom tomahawk, and the wolf. Now is the time to do the final sanding with 220 grit to knock off any remaining burrs or splinters that might be left over from the carvings. Here I string five wood beads on each end of a rawhide lace. I will be using three 14 inch pieces for this. Tie a knot on each end, locking the beads on each lace. I now tie each 14 inch beaded strand of rawhide 14 inches apart starting where the point lace ends. Now I cut three pieces of tanned rabbit fur each approximately three inches by the diameter of my stick. I cut strips of paper and wrap around my stick to get the diameter measurement close. Each piece of rabbit fur is wrapped just below each beaded rawhide lace and secured with about six wraps of sinew and tied in a tight knot. Okay, that about does it for this video about the uh, American Indian Spear. This one was patterned the best I could off of the data and research that I did on the early American Indian. This uh, was dated back to as a replica from uh, the Sioux Indian Nation uh, about uh, early 1800s to the mid 1800s even this was used in this fashion because 
The rabbit fur is symbolic, and uh, I'll put a note in the bottom if I can, uh, uh, don't recollect that right now. But the five beads on each strand of rawhide tied around under the rabbit, uh, the rabbit fur, and there we have it for the tip. I went ahead and carved our eagle. There's an eagle head. There is a axe or tomahawk. And here is a fox. Then you have the other symbolic part of the spear, which I'll have to get back here for you to see it. Now the whole thing looks like this. And uh, anyway, I kind of had a lot of fun doing this, had a lot of fun interesting uh, doing the research on how to make this. And uh, I hope uh, it is going to be for sale. And I hope someone will hang this up with pride, uh, at, at least show it off and, and, and be proud of, of it, how it's symbol. It really a symbol of our uh, earlier American Indians. And uh, I think it turned out quite nice. It's about, I'm gonna put it on the ground now. It's about nose high to me to the tip this is a stone chipped um, point, about six inches long. Uh, it, it sticks in the, the wood, it's embedded in the wood here about, uh, about an inch. So it's seven inches overall, and it is chipped stone. Um, it looks like it I'd be uh, venture to say really what kind of stone it is. Maybe someone can recognize it and, and leave us a note in the comments about what kind of stone that is. But it is hand chipped, not artificial in any way. Now, with that, all I can say is I'll see you in the next video.